Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. As now you know how to add custom JavaScript to your dialog. So now we can start writing custom validation for your input fields in AM using Granite UI. Previously, the jQuery validator was used for form validation, but it is no longer the case as it is considered deprecated now, but maintained for backward compatibility. And the new way for validation in AM 6.2 and onwards is foundation validation approach. Foundation validation captures the dialog submit event to cancel and stop when the form is invalid. So if any of the input field is invalid, it stops the form from submitting until that is fixed. And validation happens through a validator. Now let's create our input validation using foundation validation. Let me open my AM. In the AM, go to the site console. Now go to the demo site and I have this English page. Let's open this page. In this page, we have this hello world component. And if I open this, it will open a dialog. Here we have this text. So in this video, I will do the validation for this input field. So let's see how we can do it using foundation validation. So to do the validation, we need to write a client library, which we had created in the last video. So go to the CXD and here go to the apps. Let's open the project. My project name is demo training. Let's open it, open the components, content. And here we have this hello world component. And we had created this client library where I have this JS folder and JS.txt where I have an entry of the JS folder and this is a JS.js JavaScript. And the category name of client lib was cq.include which I have used in this dialog. Let me show you. Within the items, you can see this is the include client lib. This is what we had created in my last video. And in this video, I will replace this JavaScript, custom JavaScript by the foundation validation JavaScript. So to open that foundation validation JavaScript, I have already created that JavaScript in my GitHub. You can go to this link. You can find this link in my description below. This is the open repository. You can go to this link and here go to the developer course. Here, scroll down and open this validation. And from here, copy this text. Copy it and paste it here. And save it. Here, to create a new validator for form validation, you need to register a new validator to the registry using foundation.validation.validator. When you register a new validator, you pass in an object. Here you can see I am passing an object here. An object should contain a selector. This is my selector and a validate function object. This is my validate function. It is an anonymous function. The element of the selector is passed into the validate function. If function returns anything other than true, it will be considered invalid. So here this JavaScript, it starts with adapting the window to the function registry and then it is registering the foundation validation validator which is how we add a new validator to a Granite UI. While registering a validator, we need to provide a selector as well. So this is my selector we should contain as well as a validate function. This is anonymous function. Here our selector is data should contain. We can simply add this selector to one of the input on our dialog. So I will add this selector in the input of dialog field and uh, the input is the first one which is this text. In validate function first we are taking data attribute and then we are taking value of input and testing the value of our data element is actually there in text input or not. If it doesn't exist there it will throw the error. Now in the dialog let's add that attribute so right, right click in the text and create a node over here and name it Gainite data. Gainite colon data. Click on OK and save this. We can add the data attribute by creating a Gainite colon data sub resource. So, so we have created this and at our selector it is data should contain. So copy this should contain and get a property over here and I want it should contain this AM word. So let me add this and save it. 
so if any input coming from the text field should have word am in it otherwise it will throw an error that uh, the field should contain am word and its current value is whatever input we provide so let's see how it works i have saved this javascript and go to our english page and let's refresh this page and now go to the hello world component and let's open it it will run our javascript and let's put the text hello world here you can see it is showing an error if you read it this tv should contain am word and its current value is hello world it doesn't contain am word that's why it is not allowing us hello am then it should allow us here you can see the error has been removed now you can submit this so this is how you can perform the validation using foundation validation thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching